Hello everyone, this is Ton Does Linux and More. Today, we're diving into the exciting announcement of OpenSUSE Leap 16 entering its public beta phase. For those of you who might not be familiar, OpenSUSE Leap has a long-standing reputation for being a stable and full-featured Linux distribution. With the release of Leap 16.0, it's clear that the OpenSUSE team is continuing that tradition with some remarkable upgrades. First up, let's talk about the foundation of this new release. Leap 16.0 is built from SUSE Linux Enterprise 16 and introduces the new SUSE Linux Framework 1. This change reflects a shift towards a cleaner and more modern foundation for the operating system. If you're a user of the previous Leap 15.6 version, you'll find that Leap 16.0 maintains that overall stability while also offering distinctly updated features. The Agama installer, which is now the default, provides a revamped installation experience tailored to the needs of today's users. Now let's highlight some of the major updates and features you'll find in the beta. For starters, Leap 16.0 is expected to be predominantly Wayland only, although there will still be some remnants of Xorg for compatibility. This is an exciting step forward as Wayland is seen as the future of display servers in Linux environments. Another noteworthy change is the retirement of sysv init in favor of more modern system management tools. Instead of the familiar Jast, users will interact more with Cockpit, which streamlines system management tasks effortlessly. Speaking of software management, the new RIS-based repository management through the OpenSUSE repos package allows for a more efficient system. This means you'll experience smaller metadata sizes and faster refresh rates. Moreover, there is experimental support for parallel package downloads in Zipper, an improvement that promises to make installation processes much quicker, boosting your overall experience with software management on Leap. As we look ahead, the roadmap for Leap 16.0 indicates a release candidate expected in July 2025, with the final version slated for October 2025. For those interested in the specifics, notable software versions included in this beta are Kernel 6.12, GNOME 48.0, and KDE Plasma 6.3.4. Each of these components is set to enhance the overall user experience, making the operating system not only more robust, but also user-friendly. Finally, for those considering an upgrade from Leap 15.6, it's recommended to perform a fresh install using the new Agama installer to fully test out the latest features. However, if you're inclined to upgrade manually via ZipperDupe, be sure to disable any third-party repositories to minimize any potential upgrade issues. That wraps up our overview of OpenSUSE Leap 16's public beta. With this new release, OpenSUSE continues to evolve while staying true to its roots. So, whether you're a longtime user or someone curious about exploring this dynamic Linux distribution, Leap 16 promises a lot of exciting developments that are worth checking out. Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on more Linux news and tutorials.